The last thing before we go um, in this uh, uh, long in intro, detailed intro to Sierra um, is um, you've already uh, been introduced to the replay function with Daniele. Just keeping in mind that if you're going a year back that you want to change the year, the contract specific. So ESM 21 it would be ESM 20 and so on. You just change them once you go into the replay function. That's something to note. And finally, in your trade management, the best place to go um, for information on your trading is into your trade activity log. And in here, you will set it up. You'll have your account with whatever broker you want. You can set it up and you can go in and you can check your statistics. You can check your account statistics. You can check your chart statistics and you can read through these panels. Um, if we open it up, you can read, you can stretch these out as well. So you can see them uh, flat to flat trades, total trades, and it will show you your strengths and your weaknesses. If you do decide to come on to the prop side of things, We'll have a platform where you can take this data and dump it in and it presents it very, very nicely into um, bar charts and pie charts. And it goes into the proper the trade statistics and your, your, um, your losses, your trade efficiencies, you know, your entry efficiency, your exit efficiencies and so on and so forth to, to help you get better and better and better. But just to know this is here, um, um, you can understand it then deeper. Uh, later when we get into it and uh, your statistics this shows your your um, your win rates your closed trade losses your profits and so on and so forth so just go into this and, and and look into it in detail basically there's a lot of information in here it's not the easiest on the eyes but actually the the, the information is really really good in here for tracking your progress and your abilities as you're growing as a trader and you can you can as you see you can set it on your sim you can set it up to any um any account you have that you have in here that's connected to your CR charts will work then you can click it in and you can monitor your your progress and your trading over time using this window in the trade activity log and just to go back just to close that so that was that was that was in the trade and trade activity log and we'll go through it in in the future um, how you actually take this create the data from it and, and use it in the in the later in the later um, uh, modules or, or processes how you can do that if you wish to dump it into a third party to, to generate the information in it yeah okay everybody i think that's enough for the deep dive into sierra charts i hope uh, i covered it pretty well i'm pretty sure i did judging from my my um uh my list here i have everything ticked off i think i've covered everything um, if there's any trouble, you'll get us in the in the tutorial class anyways, but I, ho I hope um, Don't get too overwhelmed with it. It is a lot of work to begin with but like any computer-based program eh, The learning curve gets easier and easier as you get familiar with the platform So on that note everybody have a great rest of your day and I will be talking to you all very soon Bye